Welcome, this is going to be part 5, 6, 7, and 8 for the IM1 Honors Module 1 Review Solutions. Here the sequence is given 3, comma, negative 12, comma, 48, comma, negative 192, then comma, 768. Alright? Okay, it seems like it's going positive to negative, positive to negative, positive to negative. So it's already hint that it might be geometric. So the first one asks us to write out the recursive relationship for the sequence to explain how you determine your answer. So first of all, I computed, um, I looked for a common difference. So I did the second term minus the first term. I got D equals to 15. Then I did it again for the third term minus the second term. And I got D equals to 36. So I knew there was no common difference. But I did the calculation out here um, to show that there was no common difference. Now I calculated the common ratio, which is the second term divided by the first term, which is r equals to negative 4. I did it to the third term divided by the second term, which was negative 4. So I determined that there is a common ratio. So here, this is the recursive for the geometric sequence, because I know it is geometric because there is a common ratio. That's why I computed it first. So here I plugged in that the common difference here is negative 4, but I also want to make sure that I include uh, the first term here. So let's, so my first term is equal to 3. All right, make sure you have the recursive um, equation out here as well as the first term, okay, because it's for the recursive. Good. All right, so write out the explicit. The explicit here, because this is the geometric, because there is a common ratio, okay? This is considered the first term equation. This is the first term explicit for the geometric. The reason why this is considered the first term is because of the parenthesis, because of the exponent of n minus 1. All right, so make the substitution. The first term here was 3, the r was negative 4, and there you go. That would be your complete answer. Number part 6, you're going to match each sequence with its function. Notice you're not going to use all of the given functions. The first one, 2, comma, 14, comma, 98, and so on, so on. So I computed the common ratio because I saw that there was a common ratio, so I got my r equals to 7. Our first term here is 2. So again, I will look for something here that gives me the first term of 2 and a common difference of 7. This looks like that would be correct. It would be this one. Okay. So I can use that one up. It wouldn't be this one because, again, you're multiplying by the common difference. It wouldn't be this one because this is aramidic and this is aramidic as well. Okay, this was the only geometric one. This was geometric. This one was arithmetic. This one's geometric. Okay, just look at the way the formula is built. Next one, let's take a look. Um, the common difference here would be negative 7 because, again, that's how you get it. The second term is negative 5 minus the first term. You get d equals to negative 7. The first term here would be 2. The fact that there is a common difference and a first term, we will see that it is um, aramidic because there is a common difference. Okay, so that would be this one. This is the first term, which is equal to 2. The common difference here is negative 7. It's right there. Okay, so we will use that up. It wouldn't, it wouldn't be this one because the first term is 2. This is considered the zero term. A lot of people get that wrong. This is considered the zero term. Okay. If you compute this out, this is r equals to one seventh. That is the common difference because if you multiply everything you out, you the common ratio is one seventh, or you can use the common ratio formula. Okay. First term here is two because there is a common ratio. You would say it's arithmetic. No, geometric. It wouldn't be this one, wouldn't be this one. It's either this one or this one. The common ratio here is negative. This is the only one with a positive one seventh as a common ratio. So it would be that answer. And let's go to the next one. The next one, 
we compute out the common difference. 9 minus 2 gets you 7, or 16 minus 9 gets you also 7. The first term here is 2. I also computed the zero term um, just to see it because, again, um, we wouldn't use this one. This is geometric. We're either left with the first one or the second one. Okay? The first term is um, 2, but the zero term is negative 5. This is the only one that works. That's the reason why I computed out the zero term. Okay? So it gets you f of x is equal to 7x minus 5. Good? Next here, I wrote out six different situations that are shown in the answered choices below. Select all the situations that can be modeled by linear equation. What is the linear equation? Remember, a linear equation has a couple of things about it. It has a common difference, okay, which is going to be constant, okay, all right? That's what we know about linear, okay, all right? Also, there's, um, okay. So a constant rate of change. So we could say a constant rate of change. Okay. All right. So the first one, a cop chases a robber at a highway driving at 80 miles per hour. Again, this is 80 miles per one hour. And that is constant. So that works. Yeah, Mr. Lopez invested 10000 in a savings account that grows 3% per year. So this is by a percentage. So the first year, it grows by 3%. 1, 2, 3. That would be $300. Then the second year, it grew at 309 because there's more money in there, so it wouldn't work. That percentage isn't constant, okay? That percentage changes. The, the percentage changes the amount every single year. So it's 300, 309 the next year, and so on and so on. So that is why that is not a constant gr um, rate of change. The next one, a tree that is planted 12 feet. 12 feet tall was planted and grow at 6 inch per year. That is linear because it grows constant at 6 inches per year. Right, right here, per one year, 6 inches per year. So the next year grows another 6 inch. The next year grows another 6 inch. So it's consistent. A cherry blossom petal falls at 5 centimeters per second, per one second. So here, 2 seconds, it's it falls another 5 centimeters Third second, it falls another five centimeters. So that is linear. Next, the amount of players in Fortnite decreases at a rate of 12% every single seven minutes. The fact that it is a percentage, right? It changes. This makes it non constant. You would say this is not linear. Okay. Next, Nathan throws paper airplanes in class. His grade drops 10 points for every single paper airplane he throws. Again, this would be considered arithmetic or which is considered a linear equation because his grade drops 10 points for every single airplane. So one airplane would be 10 points, two paper airplanes would be 20 points, third one would be 30 points, all right? You see how it is consistent it is consistent of a common difference of 10. So these are all your answers, okay? Part eight. Okay, well, for the sequence, here's the first term, the second term, and the third term. Isaac thinks the sequence can be modeled by this recursive function, f of one equals to one, uh, f of n is two times the previous term. Is Isaac correct? If you think Isaac is wrong, please give the correct recursive equation. So here, I just write out a couple of things. So the first term, I got three. So this is the first term. The second term is five. The third term, which is equal to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven. All right. So the common difference here is 2, because that is 5 subtract 3, or 7 subtract 5. 
The first term here is given by 3. If you want, okay, so I would say Isaac is wrong. Okay, and the first term, it might be equals to 1, but this is the wrong recursive because this is... This is an Aramidic sequence, okay? And in an Arabic sequence, the f of n is defined by the common, this is common difference, the common difference, right? Is this common difference? Yeah, the common difference plus the previous term, okay? So f of one equals to three, and that would be the, correct recursive it should be the previous term plus two based on the answer from part one write the explicit function f of zero is one how do i get it we go backwards right you see here's the third term so here you go backwards by subtracting so if you subtract you get what one of the trees here okay i'm trying to see if i can draw the, the tree see should be one of the trees left. So it should be one. So it's f of x is equal to 2x plus 1. The 2 here, which is a common difference or slope or the rate of change. This zero term starting value is 1. Okay. Um, part 9. I'm going to save for part 9 for the other videos. Okay. But that's it. That's your solution.